the title screen. I have coffee here, and it will eventually take effect. And when it does take effect, it'll be beautiful and glorious. How do I look at my freaking... Hold on. <clears throat> I'm trying to look at the manual. Are you kidding me? I have to actually go into the folder for the manual. Uh, here's the reference card. Okay. I found it. Um, so page four. Seventh word. First paragraph. So page four, first paragraph. With. Oh, yay, DRM. Um, so, welcome back to the wonders of retro adventure gaming experiences. Um, can this, can this game, like... We need to load. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to remember, I think we're on this one, 92, how many, this is 86, we're on the other one. This is where we left off. So we currently have a flute, a gold ball, a peacock feather, small crown, cupid's bow, shovel, axe, fishing pole board. Oh, we have the hen, so we gotta go back to the lot. <clears throat> Good morning, people. Hello, lurker. I swear you're the only one here, but you might not be. Um, I'm hoping those that were helping me yesterday... <laughs> when I was getting stuck, show up, because it was really nice. <clears throat> oh, oh, the lots goons. And again, I've, I've played this before, years and years ago. Beat it without a walkthrough. I figured it all out on my own. Um, so I don't mind getting assistance when I get stuck, so that we're not just stuck for forever. What a good girl you are, Lilac Goshes. I really ought to give you your reward right now. Goshes? Hi, Brad. She pauses and you wonder what she's up to. Lilac goes on to say, but I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left. She's just using me. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence and you'll receive a wonderful reward. <clears throat> Somehow you don't quite believe her. I don't believe her. I want to have Pandora's box. It is said that whoever owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. Lilot's red eyes glow as she exclaims, with the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Oh boy. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being Lilot really is. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do about it? Nothing, right now. She's a horrible woman. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box a lot tells you. You must search for it yourself. I think it's in the crypt that's in the cliffside. Again, she orders her henchmen to take her away. <clears throat> I am hoping it's going to be nighttime now, because I have no idea how to get in there. Hello, male Paradox. Hi, no answer. And hi, Brad. It's fine. I, you're gonna go be here for a little bit. You're trying to sleep early. Yeah. I'm tired, too. I don't know how the hell I'm awake right now. Okay, it's not nighttime. I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, that's right. Use X. The trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. You know what? I feel really bad that you guys didn't get to see the beautiful animation there. Because she literally just, like, swings it in the air, I believe. You gotta love these old games. It's your thing to play older games like this. Um, lately it has been. And it's mostly been because um, these are games that... I didn't exactly grow up with it, but I knew of the King's Quest series when I was younger. Um... Oh my god, this ogre. I knew of the King's Quest series when I was younger. I didn't really get a chance to really, really play them until I got the King's Quest collection, 
I think around the time when I was 18, 19. Um, and I had a job where I had a laptop that I was able to keep with me because I was in a secretarial type position. And when I was nothing was going on, I was able to play all the games on my laptop. Um, but that's how I ended up playing these so much. Yeah, the trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. I also got to play the Ke Quest for Glory series, which I do want to do. And if we finish this today, which we should, then we're going to move on to Space Quest 2. Oh boy. What the hell is this? I don't remember this at all. Skull Cave. Beautiful blue outline. Oh no, it's the three witches. The dismal and dreary cave. Within it reside three one-eyed old witches. In the center of the cave, over a hot fire, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. I have a feeling. I need to get their eye. Look, eye. The blind one-eyed hag peers at you through a glass eye. I need that eye. I think she has it. Get eye. You're not close enough. Oh. And now. You knew you needed a hot bath, but not this hot. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. You ever play Leisure Suit Larry? Uh, once a long time ago. Um, I did play it for a little bit. I never got really, really far. I think Leisure Suit Larry is allowed to be streamed. I don't think there's anything all that bad in it, despite all of its statements about sex um i think i just need to i need to get the eye who has the eye i think it's this one Get I. Stop it. She keeps on burning herself. Look, skull. Shiver the side of a human skull on the shelf. There's a way to. You have to get the eye. Because once you get the eye, they get all upset and then they'll end up bargaining to get it back because it's the one eye, the only thing that they can use to see. I don't think she has it. Who has the eye? Oh, they're they're sharing it. I think that's what they're doing. Um, they're passing it back and forth to each other. Too late. Yeah, these are the witches from Hercules, essentially. Like the old, old Hercules movie. Is it? Was it the old Hercules movie? I thought it was Perseus or something. Oh, Clash of the Titans. Yes, thank you. No, not the Disney musical. This is from these. This is um, no. I think those three witches were like the fates. Um, Clash of the Titan Titans. These are the same witches. Um, but I think I just need to get the eye. Three old one-eyed crones inhabit this dreary cave. They possess a glass eye which they pass from one to another that enables them to see. Through the glass eye, they each in turn peer at you with a frightening mixture of curiosity and malice. Throw ball at eye. Throw ball. You just managed to snatch the glass eye from the grasp of the old witches. Now they are totally blind and helpless. There we go. I got it. Give us back our eye, the old witches plead. 
See, <laughs> save his Clash of the Titan Titans. Get their uh, get their eye. Talk. Give us back our eye. The old witch's plea. Look, cauldron. Greenish foul brew boils ominously within cauldron. Um, ask about Andorra's box. <coughs> Talk. Your voice is drowned by the wails of the three ugly hags as they beg for the return of their eye. I don't... I think I just have to give it back to them. Give eye. You toss the glass eye to the pleading witch as a hot foolish girl that shriek, leave us be or you'll flavor our brew. Talk. You speak with the three ugly witches. They mutter to themselves after which one conjoles. Come here, girl. We have something to give you for being such a nice girl and returning our eye. Do we trust her? Come over here, girl. The old one-eyed witches attempt to entice you with promises of a gift and payment for your return of their glass eye. You're full of crap, but let's see what happens. They're full of crap. <laughs> You again uh, talk to the old witches who cry. <clears throat> There's a secret green room. Look. Shelves. You see bottles and jars of disgusting looking stuff. None of it interests you though. Look staff. Look shelf. You see bottles and jars. Look cauldron. Give eye. Toss the... Uh, Talk to witches. Speak with the three ugly witches. They mutter to themselves after which one controls. Come here, girl. We have something. Talk. Are they going to give me anything? You try talking to the old hags again. In a syrupy voice, one hag says, Don't be afraid, dear. Come here. We have a gift for you. You speak with the three ugly witches. They mutter themselves after each which one controls. Come here, girl. Oh, boohoo. You can't see. I don't know what to do with them. I don't remember. Look in cauldron? Just leave. Come back, see what happens. Um, you like me this idea? Throw I instead of give? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Throw I. You toss the glass eye to the pleading witches. No, it doesn't work. What if we just take it with us? Ouch. Even with the glass eye, we burn ourselves. It's ours. Bye. Oh, there we go. As you re-enter the dismal cave, the three one-eyed witches throw something towards you which lands on the ground. Here, take it, they cry. It'll ward off the undead. You'll need it. Now please give us back our eye. We do need that. Give us back our eye, you think about it. Look. This is a dismal dreary cave. Within it reside three one-eyed old witches. In the center of the cave, over hot fire bowls, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. You see a black scarab on the cave floor. Get scarab. We do need this. Throw eye. You throw the glass eye to the three old hags who once again take turns peering at you. Come closer, dear one says. We'd like to give a little gift to you. Talk. <coughs> talk. No. Not not talking. I have a scarab. I'm done. I'm done with you. I, we, that's pretty much all we needed from them. No, honey. So the Black Scarab, anytime any of the undead come near us, um, the Scarab will keep them from touching us, which we're going to need because once it hits nighttime, the skeleton, the zombies will come up out of the... How do we get it to be nighttime? I feel like it just becomes nighttime. Zombies will come up out of this graveyard here. And when they do, you need the uh, scarab to ward them off. Um, we really need a lantern of sorts. 
I wonder if there was a lantern back here in this house. Open door. There's LOI. No, this was just an organ. Look, torch. Torch burns on the wall. Get torch. Torch is firmly attached to the wall. Uh. Well, I have the scarab, which is nice, but open door. Look, clock. An old grandfather clock sits in the corner. Uh, okay. I honestly don't remember where how to like trigger the next state. Okay, good job. Rosella, the girl who just she's all like, I'm a princess promptly trips over everything. I mean we could try going in here, but the it's so dark. Do we have the board? Yeah, we do. What do, look bored. What do we do with this board? Um. Here, let's. You know what? I didn't. I didn't. I was gonna look up a walkthrough to get me unstuck, but I haven't really looked at everything yet. So there's a possibility that things have changed and we need to go around and double check. Because every time we've gone to Lalot, it's usually triggered something else to happen. We never did get into that locked room in the giant's house. But I don't even know where the key is. <clears throat> Uh, Cupid was here, and we're fine without Cupid. We're just, just go away, Cupid. We need a light source to get through that cave, which I think gets us to the swamp, which allows us to get the fruit so we can actually heal our father. Unless we want the bad ending where we go back after helping the fairy and just stare at him as he dies. <laughs> Fisherman is pretty much done, I think. Unless they have a light source, open door. Do they have a light source? I don't see one. Look barrel. See nothing special. Look rope? I don't know what that yellow thing is on the wall. Look whip. Look wall. There's a lantern, but you missed out on getting it a while back. Don't I need it? Where did I miss the lantern? I need the lantern. Did I soft lock myself? <gasps> no. Hold on. No. Oh no. Oh, Bobby. I'm looking it up. I did. Oh, honey. No! I'm supposed to try and give the pouch of diamonds back to the dwarf. No, I looked it up, Meaty. Yeah, I was supposed to, when he gave me the pouch of diamonds, I was supposed to give it back to the dwarf. Or try to. He'll tell me to keep it, and then he throws in a lantern. Let me see if I can talk to him, and if he'll just give me one. Give me a lantern. Stop walking off ledges, woman! It's fine. It's better that we find out now rather than running around and wondering. Talk dwarf. 
that's a dwarf, talk. Endeavor to engage in conversation with a small man, but they are too busy to reply. Talk. Talk dwarf. Uh... We're restarting. On the plus side, it won't be too hard to get back to where we were. Okay. So... <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe we found, we, like, you need that lantern to get through that cave to get the fruit to heal Graham. Without the lantern, you're fuck. okay. <laughs> okay. It's fine, we can do this again. First thing to do... We need, um... Actually, there's a few different things we can do. Look under bridge. Kneel down, peer down on the bridge. Uh, aha, you found a small golden ball. You pick it up and carry it with you. At least you guys, for those of you who missed it, you'll get to see it from the beginning. I feel bad because now it's like, oh, are we going to even upload the next, the, the original one? Oops, you scared the frog away. God damn it. Oh, God. Drop ball. He accidentally dropped the golden ball into the pond from atop a lily pad. A large green frog leaps into the water and disappears from view. A moment later, the frog emerges with, yes, your lost ball in its mouth. It seems as if the frog is kindly returning your gold ball to you. Uh, kiss frog. First, get frog. Squinching up your nose in disgust, you catch the large frog and hold it in your hand. It stares at you with its big, bulgy eyes and wobbles its throat. Kiss frog. You look at the frog's green lips. Mmm, good. You feel silly doing this as you slowly put your mouth against the frog's. Suddenly, the little green frog changes into a handsome prince. Who are you, the prince demands. I thought you were supposed to be a princess. Why, you're nothing more than a peasant girl. You blanch a bit at that remark, but say nothing. Well, ta-ta, he says. I'm off. Here, you may keep this. To your surprise, he tosses a little golden crown to you as you take as he takes his leave. Good riddance, you think. Okay. Get ball. You're not close enough. Get ball. With your ball in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, that's right. There's something in this house, too. It's the book that we need in this house. Open door. I don't think there was anything else in this house that we need right now. I don't think there was anything in the kitchen. No, there was nothing in here. Because I remember I tried getting the pot and it won't let you. So I just need the book in the house. Look shelf. You examine a few remaining shelves, books on the bookshelves. Only one catches your attention. It is entitled The Complete Works of J William Shakespeare. Get book. Move the Shakespeare book for the shelf and carry it with you. We'll just get this undone. Look wall. See a portrait hanging above the fireplace. Look left wall. See nothing special. Look portrait. An interesting portrait of a young girl hangs above the fireplace. You gaze at it intently. Notice her eyes seem to stare at the left wall of the parlor. Look wall. Closely examine the left wall very closely. Notice a little latch. Flip latch. Flip the latch of the wall and behold, you've discovered a secret door. We don't need to go in there right now. There's nothing in there. I mean, there's an organ, but I think we have to deal with that at night when the hauntings happen. Um, yeah. Might as well go in here now. Where, where crown? Is 
It sure feels good to be yourself again. Look under board. I didn't do that last time. You don't have it. Get bored. Oh my god. Get bored. Get bone. And just go up. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we can go and see Lalot right now. Oh, oh Lalot's goons. Because this triggers the first part of the stuff, anyways, I think. Yeah, I don't think the, the whale appears until we actually see Lalot. Uh, I think we need to see Lalot, and I think we need to have the peacock feather, and then it will appear. Well, my pets, Lalot hisses, what have you drug home today? Lalot gives you the once over, and as she does, her red eyes begin to narrow. Are you a foolish girl who wandered here by mistake, or are you a spy sent here by my enemy, Janesta? Janesta's prettier than you. She's blonde. You swear to lot that you are nothing but a poor peasant girl who has lost her way, but she doesn't seem to believe you as her mouth begins to snarl and her eyes narrow to mere slits. For the first time, you experience real fear and begin to tremble. The lot snarls, you don't look stupid enough to have wandered here. I believe you're a spy. Take her to the cell. And then we sit in the cell for a little bit. Look under table. See nothing. Look skeletons. These two unfortunate visuals have met their fate here. Look whip. Whip hangs on the wall. Get whip. Whip is securely attached to the wall. Besides, you wouldn't want it. Torture self. <laughs> Try another... <laughs> use torture table. Can't use that right now. Get chain. Look floor. There's nothing of interest on the floor. I don't think there's anything you could do in here. Can you imagine how painful that would be to be flown while carried by your forearms? <laughs> yes, seriously. You have the henchmen returning. Perhaps they're coming to set you free. Henchman motions you to follow him out of the cell. <clears throat> the lock gives you a sickly sweet look. You're lucky, my dear, she coos. My precious son Edgar has been ta has taken a liking to you, and he believes you. He's convinced me to give you a chance to prove your innocence. You humdrum little homely green man over there. You glance at the homely young man standing next to Lalotte. He blushes. He doesn't have a neck. <laughs> Lalotte continues, I wish to own the unicorn that inhabits the Meadowland. Who fucked Lalotte to make that child? Bring me the unicorn. I shall not only set you free, but reward you as well. Why would you not want a whip? I have no idea. To her henchman, Lalotte orders, go, take her back to the forest. Bodhi. He gets very inquisitive about the window that the air conditioner sits in. I like how we never had to take that air conditioner out this year. Did you realize that? Yeah. Oh, Bodhi, here's a bird. <gasps> I need this. Get worm. Okay. We're gonna do a complete run th No, shoot! There's no autosave on. I screwed myself. I screwed myself. God damn it! Okay. I'm so angry. I, I killed myself and I lost any of my progress. I can't hold him. No, I can't hold him.
Yeah, a thousand Fs, exactly. I'm, I'm just going through what I was originally planning on doing and checking all the screens to make sure I have everything I possibly can. I don't care that I scared the frog. I need the ball first. Here we go. Look under bridge. Drop ball. Get frog. Kiss frog. <coughs> Get ball. Okay, save. <laughs> Just, seriously. Where am I? No Cupid. Oh my god, there's only one way out and it's right over here. She's moving too fast. No! <laughs> okay, just go this way. Might as well do the dwarves now, since we're here. Open door. Do what women do best and clean house. <laughs> it's literally what you have to do. You come across the house of seven dwarves. It's very obvious what you have to do. You follow in Snow White's footsteps. You clean up the house. Then the dwarves come home, and then they're all happy that you're there. <laughs> and then we watch as they come in, and they grab their soup bowls. I like this song, it's very cute. Body, body, honey. He's about to jump up. He's on top of the radiator shelf, scrunching down, about ready to jump up. He's looking for the birds. He's also a very, very small kitty. It's body. This dwarf must be really hungry. He's getting two bowls of soup. Oh, that's right, because he's making one for you. Seven dwarves seem very pleased that you tidied their messy home. One politely asks you your name. You tell him, and he cordially invites you to sit down with them and eat the bowl of soup he got for you. Sat woman. You seat yourself at the table begin to eat the surprisingly delicious soup. Surprisingly delicious, because who could think... That men could cook. I mean dwarves. Dwarves. Talk. Politely talk to the dwarf nearest you. Where are you from, Rosella? He asks. You tell him Daventry. Hmm, the dwarf thinks for a moment. Never heard of it. Again, you engage a conversation. Is Daventry far from Tamir? The dwarves wonder. Very far, you tell them. How did you get here, they ask. As you don't want to get into specifics, you tell them by sea. That answer seems to satisfy them as they return to their eating. You speak to the nearest dwarf again. He wonders why you are here in Tamir. You explain that you are in the service of Janesta, the good fairy, who wishes to regain her magic talisman from the clutches of Lalat, the bad fairy. Well, young lady, the dwarf states, I don't envy you. You're much braver than I am dealing with that evil fairy. Talk. You attempt conversation another time, but the dwarves tell you they must hurry and finish their soup as they need to get back to work before dark. Do they really have enough protein in soup for them? 
to be going into the mines. Like, seriously. Buddy. Buddy. He's, he's, he's being a buddy. Finish eating. Oh my god. You literally just have to finish eating if you guys haven't seen this when we did it yesterday. It's the time for the little men to go back to the mine. <laughs> Goodbye and thanks for the soup you call as they take their leave. <laughs> the best part is they left a mess on the table. You finished your soup also. It was the best soup you've ever tasted. Maybe, though, you were just really hungry. Or you need a better chef at the castle. <laughs> Come on, game. Oh. Clean table. <laughs> you don't have to do this. I'm just obsessed with, we already cleaned it once. It better be clean. Phew, I hope that's the last of it. Look table. You see a long wooden table. You also notice a blue pouch. Get pouch. This is literally what we screwed up on. Saving. I can't believe. <laughs> Typical men, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Leave all the mess for the girl to clean up. How dare they? Oh, the worm. Oh, the robin just appears randomly at places. I never noticed that. Get worm. We need to go into the house again. Open door. Get book. Uh... Look portrait. Look wall. Flip latch. We need to get back to the mine. Oh my god. Get up. Get up trippy make trips a lot. There. Here's the mine. Okay. Just fall. Okay. Oh my god. So you gotta go basically to dock this one and say give pouch. Actually, look pouch diamond pouch give pouch being an honest person you offer the forgotten pouch of diamonds to the dwarf his gruff exterior softens a bit now you can keep it he says we got plenty here we also got an extra lantern we ain't using here go ahead and take it the dwarf's gruffness returns as he says now skedaddle on out of here so that was the thing technically in our previous playthrough we stole it <laughs> and gave it to the fisherman which we're still gonna do, but I think they accidentally left it on the table and we were like, I guess this is ours. Payment for cleaning the house. Fucking diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> Just, oh <God. laughs> okay. Saving. So all this time I was supposed to have the freaking lantern. We're already here. Let's go to Lilat. I will speed it up so we don't have to deal with Lilat as much anymore. And that it should just speed through it. Oh my god! I wonder if I can click on it. No, no. Get, get over here. No, you can't. You're gonna have some problems tonight. 
god. Do it, do it, do it. God! Can I skip through this? No. Oh my god, the text box doesn't move any faster. It does if I keep on hitting the enter button. This was a nice sell. It is beautiful. Look at dress. Cry. Cry over spilt milk. <laughs> Take off dress. Not in front of the game players. <laughs> Yeah, the henchman returning. Come on. Bring her the unicorn. Okay. Normal speed and then fast twice. Okay, we've dealt with her. Now, sh we should... We don't want to deal with that. Oh, I can use the numpad plus and minus to move faster. Ugh, I didn't know I could stay away from the menu. I mean, I knew there was a shortcut key. I didn't know it was right here. Wear crown. I have saved. Get bored. Here, we will do... Actually, normal. Did we save here? Yeah, I'm gonna save again. Just because it makes me feel better. Get bone. Okay. Light lantern. Using a flint attached to the oil lantern, you light it. The lantern burns with a bright glow. I uh, know. You have been caught by the vicious troll. Fate be what, what it may. You are dragged off to meet it. It's horrible. There's a way for him not to be here. Okay. Do I already have a bone? Did I get one? Yeah. This lantern sucks. Oh no! My god, he just randomly appears. I don't know which way we're going. <gasps> what is that? This is the darkest cave you've ever seen. You see an opening in the distance. I think we have to go through here. I don't remember if... Oh my goodness. A chasm. Use board. 
use board on chasm. Put board down. You're not close enough. Put board down. Feeling of the dark, you managed to place the board across the crevice. Now you can cross it safely. I don't remember how I ever dealt with this. Put board down. Put board down. Feeling the dark again, you managed to pick up the board without dropping it into the crevice. Oh my god. How did I ever manage to do this? Like, this, le this light is horrible. Look opening. After this dark cave, the outside world look good. looks good. Use opening. Crawl. You're not close enough. Oh, she does it on her own. Turn off lantern. Extinguish the oil lantern. Here's the thing. is Even though we're in here, I don't know if we can actually get the fruit. Uh-oh, what did you do, Rosella? Don't you know that some swamps are quagmires that will suck you under? You should take your last breath if you contemplate this final information. Oh my god. Oh my god. From here, a huge muddy swamp spreads eastward. Large moss-covered swamp trees tower overhead, while grass tufts and reedy plants poke up from the mire. You can hear the many chirpings and croakings of unseen swamp creatures. Jump. My god. <laughs> At least it was easy to figure this part out. She just jumps. The tree! Are you kidding me? <laughs> She's just, she was perfectly fine a second ago, and then she's like, guess I'm gonna jump into the swamp and die. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to use the board right there. The thing is, the snake is gonna be something else entirely. Use board? Put board down. Look, Snick. <laughs> Huge cobra protects the small tree that bears the wondrous fruit, the fruit that your father's life depends on. Oh, what myth did that come out of, and what do you have to do? Talk. Cobras don't usually talk. Shit. The flute. Isaac was right. Damn it. We don't have that. We'll have to come back. I mean, technically, I shouldn't be going after that just yet anyways. It's kind of a pointless um, endeavor at the moment. But at least we know we can get through there. And we know what we need. And we can actually get the flute now. What? Quote 80. Isaac was right. No, stop it. <laughs> it's not fair. Why don't you love me? Okay. 
So we're gonna have to come through here a few times. Here we go. You have to see Cupid. He has to take a bath. Look, Cupid. Oops. Look, Cupid. Cupid happily splashes and frolics in the clear water of the pool. Oh, oh, you've startled Cupid and left his bow. Get bow. Okay. Now for one of the... Oh, wait. We don't need the most frustrating thing just yet. What we need to do is we actually need to get swallowed by a whale. But let's, let's get the loot first and then give it to Pan. Here we go. This poor bard who sucks at music. Talk. You say hello to the minstrel who looks at you in surprise. Well, well, what do we, who do we have here? He says, you introduce yourself as Rosella. Hello, Rosella, the minstrel says. Let me play for you one of my favorite tunes. And he begins to play an old ballad. Unfortunately, it appears that his musical skills are quite limited as he plunks and pings his way through the otherwise beautiful song. You unthinkingly speak to the minstrel again, who immediately begins playing another bad rendition of a favorite oldie but goodie. Give book. End the torture. You hand the Shakespeare book to the minstrel. Curiously, he opens it and begins to read aloud, first hesitantly, then with increased forcefulness, as he begins to get into it. Suddenly he stops and looks at you. This is wonderful, he exclaims. This gives me a new lease on life. No one longer am I a mere minstrel. Now I will become a famous actor. To be or not to be, how's that? He then gives you his loot, bids you farewell, and wanders off to stardom. TV doesn't exist. Good luck with that. <laughs> Save. Okay, now we need to find Pan. I, I am I'm also I'm very much aware that I need to get the the, the fisherman's uh, fishing rod and fish prior to getting swallowed because I need that fish for the pelican where the hell is pan? here he is. Get over here. I can't see you when you're over there. Play loot. Oh, he just comes to you. I like how musically talented Rosella is. So if you guys haven't seen King's Quest Seven, it opens up with her singing, and she actually has a song that's unique to the game. Pan has ceased his dancing and now looks at you and the loot curiously. Talk. Speak to Pan, but it doesn't respond. He only stares at you expectantly. Give loot. Okay, Pan accepts... Okay, Pan accept, oh, gratefully accepts your gift of the loot, and in return, he gives you his flute. Happy now, he dances away with it. So... Should we go get the fruit now that we have the flute? I have to wait for him to be done. Say a few words to the old fisherman, however, he must have other things on his mind. He seems to ignore you. There we go. He should be in the house. Open door. Damn it. My god. I have to wait for him to actually walk off the screen. Hurry up, sir. I'm in his way. I'm in his way. <laughs> oh my god. 
on. I was gonna throw her off the pier. Be all like, hold on while she makes way for you, sir. Open door. Talk, fisherman. Talk to the grizzled fisherman as he sits at the table. Sighing, he tells you them fish ain't been biting lately. If things don't get good soon, I don't know what to do. Give pouch. You're not close enough. Give pouch. You offer the pouch of diamonds to the fisherman who takes it gladly. Wife, give the girl my fishing pole and trade, he tells his tired wife. Obediently, she retrieves the pole and hands it to you. Thank you very much, she says, smiling. We can retire now and be super rich that you've given us a shit ton of diamonds. You've certainly helped us. There's some dwarves over to the east if you want to, like, take them out one by one and then take the entire mine for yourselves. I'm just saying goodbye. Welcome back. Dooms! Thank you for the gifted sub for Josie. Josie just got a gifted sub. Put worm on hook. Scrunching up your delicate nose, you gingerly bait the hook of the fishing pole with a large earthworm. Fish. That's not how you spell fish. Eagerly for the end of the pier, you fling the baited line of the fishing pole into the ocean. Dibs, that was very, very sweet. Thank you. Almost immediately, you feel a sharp tug on the line. Something pulls and fights your line as you slowly reel it in. There it is. You have caught yourself a fine, fat fish. And now we're going to keep a dead fish in our pocket. Okay. So, while I do want to deal with the whale, of course... You know what? Let's, let's just deal with the whale. I was going to go and get the fruit now, but I have to go back that way for a little lot later, so... No, no, no. No, no, no. <sighs> okay, you don't want the whale right now. Getting very tired, Rosella, I know. Oh my god. We don't want the whale because we need to get a feather. If we had gotten the whale then and there, we would have been soft locked again. Well, we wouldn't have been soft locked. You just she dies. There's no getting her out. There's the feather. Yeah, yesterday we had to find it forever. So, uh, Vulture, it turned out, if you weren't here earlier, we soft-locked ourselves from getting the lantern. Because <laughs> when you get the pouch of diamonds from the dwarves, you're supposed to try and offer it back to the dwarves in the mine. Because otherwise you're, you're essentially stealing. Come on, whale. Come on, whale. Are you kidding? <laughs> he just got eaten by a shark. Come on, whale. God damn it, shark! Oh my god. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's why we restarted. Here we go. Whale. Whale of a time. We're gonna have a whale of a time. There we go. Horrors, you've been swallowed by a whale. Phew, this place stinks. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait, we need the bottle. Get bottle. Open bottle. 
Look, of course, you've been swallowed by a whale. Phew, this place stinks. Look, boat. There's nothing in the old boat. Didn't help James, and it won't help you. Look, skeleton. Skeleton of an unlucky man. Let's call him James. We're at the, atop the wreckage of a small boat. Why is he called James? Our favorite time ever. The tongue. Oh, my God. I wonder if we can just do it from here. No, we're gonna have to go over here. I mean, it's kind of pointless to be... Here. There we go. Nope. Like, Isaac was angry at the beanstalk, this would infuriate him. Tickle whale with feather. There we go. You frantically tickle the throat of the whale with the big peacock feather. You begin to feel a quiver under your feet, which quickly turns into a mighty tremble. Suddenly you hear a thunderous ah chew, and you are swept out of the whale's mouth in a tremendous wave of ocean water. Again, you find yourself swimming in the ocean. Save. Throw fish. You throw the stinky dead fish to the pelican. Greedily, he catches it in his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny from his bill falling to the ground. Look, ground. Stop it. See a shiny whistle. Get whistle. Look, boat. Looks as if an unlucky sailor's been stranded here. You see a glint coming from one of the wrecked boats. Look, ground. Uh, it's a golden bridal. Blow whistle. Put the shiny silver whistle to your lips and forcefully blow into it, producing a loud tweet. To your astonishment, a friendly dolphin appears just offshore and jabbers excitedly at you. A giddy up dolphin. Ride the dolphin in more ways than one. <laughs> Honey, we're riding a dolphin. Yeah, dolphin. Goodbye, dolphin. Okay. Come on, unicorn. Where do you appear? I don't remember. Like here. My God. My God. This was, this was our favorite thing to do last time. You want to find a unicorn? Tough luck. In Goat Simulator, you're solid goat, solid snake goat, who's also got a drinking problem? Oh my god. Come on. Does he just appear elsewhere? Oh, there he is. Shoot bow. You aim one air, one of Cupid's golden arrows toward the beautiful unicorn. You let go of the bowstring. Zing! Bullseye. Magnificent unicorn is no longer afraid of you. It's now your friend. Speed. Normal. Put on bridle. 
As the beautiful unicorn offers no resistance, you gently place the golden bit into its mouth and fit the bridle and reins over its majestic head. The unicorn looks at you with curiosity. I'm going to sell you away to an evil fairy. <laughs> right, unicorn. <laughs> you nimbly mount the magnificent unicorn, grab the golden reins, and set off toward the Lot's castle. Well, yeah, your goat's drinking moonshine. He's got a problem. Going up. The unicorn seems paralyzed with fear. Don't worry. Remember all the time we spent yesterday trying to get into the ogre's house before we realized we had forgotten to, to turn the unicorn in? <laughs> Solo Lot says, I hear you were a good girl and brought me the unicorn. Uh, I'm almost convinced. Blah, 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 blah. Do something else. Get me the magic hen. That's what she wants. Okay. So, we just dealt with a lot. So, since we dealt with her, wear a crown. Sure feels good to be yourself again. Light lantern. Come on. No! Really? I hate this troll. It's just, it's so random if it's here or not. No. Why is he always there? He wasn't there before, or am I going the wrong way? Yep. No. Yo! No. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Is he just... Okay, he's a random chance. Put board down. Feeling in the dark again. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. Put out lantern. Turn off lantern. Jump. 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 Put board down. Play flute. Nervously, you raise the flute to your mouth and begin to play a melodic tune to the big cobra who begins to sway with the music. Soon the snake is mesmerized by it and falls into a hypnotic trance. Ow. Oh. <laughs> 
Play flute. It is a snick. Get fruit. Okay. We got the fruit for our daddy! Get bored. Jump. 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 <laughs> Jump. 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 I wish there was a quick way out of here. We have to go back to that stupid cave. Look for it. It's beautiful. Jump. Jump. Eat fruit. You take a bite of the delicious looking fruit. Mmm, delicious. Before you know it, you've eaten the whole thing. Wow, a feeling of vigor and vitality courses through your body, giving you balanced energy and that wonderful glow of good health. We lost points. <laughs> so, since we can eat it, before we end up going back to Daventry, we'll show you both endings, if I remember to do it. I'm hoping I do. Where we'll eat the fruit before we go back, and we won't have anything to give Graham. <laughs> Put down board. Put down board. Okay. Now it's going to be a matter of whether or not the stupid troll is here. Are you kidding? I was going to save it on the last screen, but I, I transitioned too quickly. I'm wondering if there's a way to just... Here. Hi, Polly. Oh my god. He is random. We know he's random. We've just been having horrible luck. Come on. There we go. Yay! Put out lantern. Turn off lantern. Oh my god. Yay, we've got the fruit. And we need to go to the ogre's house. Which should be right below us, I think. No, it's the next screen over. Bodhi, what are you doing? Oh, Bodhi's kneading on Izzik's chair. So when Izzik comes back... The ogress sees you. You'd better run as she'd like to have you for dinner. You creepy old woman. Is that it? Open door. Throw bone. Quickly, you toss the bone to the big dog who catches it midair. Happy with his surprise gift, he takes it to his favorite rug, lies down, and begins to gnaw at it. He seems to have completely blah, blah, blah. Get 
Get axe. Come on. I mean, look, oh, this isn't the most cozy living room you've ever seen. In fact, the ogre's house looks almost frightening. Let's go in here. She's beautiful. Pet dog, not this dog. Look wolf. Look head. Oh. We have to wait for it to say that the ogre, you can hear the ogre coming. Oh my god, come on. Game. Seriously. We have a lot of stuff, at least. Did we use the last arrow on the lot? I don't remember. I think we do. I vaguely remember doing something with her. It's goat, goat, goat. Remember the billy goat in the first one? The ogre is coming. Open door. Look, keyhole. You hear the ogre in the house. Look, keyhole. The ogre roars. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a... Quiet, you old goat, interrupts the ogress. That's just a deer you smell. You know how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. The zombie goat was a hero. Remember our favorite line right here. Wife, shouts the ogre, bring me my hen. <laughs> now that you're married, you're just a title. Lay, orders the ogre. With excitement, you watch the hen lay a golden egg, which the ogre takes. He yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon his snoring rattles the walls. What does he do with a golden egg? It's not like he's going to the market and, like, <laughs> buying shit with it. Plops hen on the table. Wife! Open door. See the ogre sleeping at the table. You better be real quiet. Get hen. Lay! Open door. Squawk, squawk, oh, oh, the hen has woken the ogre. No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna die. Okay, we have the hen. We are pretty much back to where we were when we started streaming today. Oh my god. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh. Use axe. Yeah, scared of me. The trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. We might as well deal with the witches now. Okay. Oh, they're not here until we give the egg, the egg a bet. Or the hen. Okay. Oh, oh, well, lots of goons. Bodhi. 
he's licking himself. He's a lemon. What a good girl you are, Lilac Gushes. I really ought to give you your reward right now. Is it your son's penis? She pauses and you wonder what she's up to. That's kind of gross when you think about it. But I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left, Lilac goes on to say. Welcome back. <gasps> Dudes, thank you for the gift of sub to sci-fi. It was really sweet. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Also, hi, sci-fi. Somehow you don't quite believe her. I want to have Pandora's box. It is said that whoever owns it would be the po in possession of the purest evil. Okay. Lot's red eyes glow as she exclaims, with the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Okay. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being Lilot really is. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do about it? Nothing right now. So this is the, uh... I do know the whereabouts of Pandora's box Lilot tells you. You must search for it yourself. Bodhi, what are you doing? Again, she orders her henchmen to take her away. Okay, we're about to get stuck again on the whole I'm not fully sure where to go but I know we need to get the scarab and then we will move around and see if anything has changed uh hey gas guardian how are you let's go this way Yeah, no. She's just moving in this forest sometimes. Okay, we gotta go up. Here we go. And then they'll be in here. Come on. Ouch. Get eye. Just managed to snatch the glass eye from the gra grasp of the old witches. Now they are totally blind and helpless. Ouch. Give us back our eye, the old witches plead. Talk. Give us back our eye. Talk. Your voice drowned out by the wails of three ugly hags as they beg for the return of their eye. Bye. Give us back our eye, the old witch's plea. As you re-enter the dismal cave, the three one-eyed witches throw something towards you, which lands on the ground. Here, take it, they cry. It'll ward off the undead. You'll need it. Now please give us back our eye. You think about it. Get scarab. Look through eye? You attempt to look through the glass eye, but it doesn't help you at all. Look eye. Poor old ladies. Poor old ladies, says Dooms. Give eye. Here's how good of old ladies they are. You throw the glass eye to the three old hags who once again take turns peering at you. Come closer, dear, one says. We'd like to give you a little gift. Okay. What is it? Oh. You knew you needed a hot bath, but not this hot. Oh. Poor old ladies. <laughs> Are we a lady this time? Yes. This is Rosella. She's the princess. King's Quest 4, you get to play as Rosella. King's Quest 7, you play between Rosella and her mother, Valenice. Um, give eye. So you do get points for giving the eye back to them. Don't You don't want to talk to them or deal with them because they're not going to do anything. And they won't tell you about Pandora's box. You just have this scarab, which we need to protect ourselves from the undead. There we go. Like a heavy blanket of darkness enfolds you. Nighttime. The entire game changes a bit. Well, a bit. You'll notice that everything's a different... It's really... It's cool because the map has... Um, a different feel and a look to it on each of the locations. 
And it's the first, and I don't know if it's the only King's Quest that has a day-night cycle. I think it might be. Six might have had a day-night cycle. Is the mine just closed? Oh my god. Open door. You can't. It's closed and padlocked. The entire game changes a bit. <laughs> Six doesn't from what you remember? Okay, so maybe this is the only one that had a day-night cycle. So our big thing we want to do is the graveyard and the haunted house. That's where everything is. As Isaac takes a shower. Why is he taking a shower? Can it be really called a cycle when it's plot related? Yeah, well. Welcome back. <gasps> Dooms! Thank you for the gifted sub to Gas Guardian. That was really sweet, too. Okay, here's the undead. Oh, those creepy zombies. Terrifying zombie senses your obsidian scarab and immediately retreats and goes back to whence it came. When you've played this the first time, it's just scary. Okay. Open door. Ready for the creepy hauntings? What's that you hear? Why, it's the sound of a crying baby and it's coming from upstairs. You hear a baby crying. The crying baby seems to be in here. Look in cradle. With trepidation, you peek into the rocking cradle and see nothing. Tentatively, you reach your hand into it. There's nothing there. I think we have to give ball. Obviously, the baby crying continues. The baby ghost isn't interested in it. We have to give something, and I think it's a rattle. Is this Phantasmagoria house? It might as well be. hear a baby crying. You have to solve all the ghost family. Um, everything that's wrong with them. I f have a feeling we have to, have to dig up the baby's corpse to get the rattle, but I may be wrong. I, I know there's there's got to be something to give. Small crown, magic fur of glass bottle, board. Let's give the baby a board. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. What if we do something simple like trying to sing to it? Or rock the baby on her own? I mean, the cradle's already rocking, but... Sit. Sing. While trembling, you attempt to sing a lullaby to the whimpering baby ghost. It doesn't work. The poor thing continues its pitiful cry. Throw baby out window. That would not accomplish anything. <laughs> Look lamp. Oh. Rock cradle. Feed baby. Give rattle. To whom? Give rattle to baby. You don't have it. I mean, it won't tell you if there is no rattle. It literally usually says you don't have it if you don't have it in your inventory. Oh, lamb, <laughs> eat the baby. Turn off lamp. Lamp's already extinguished. It doesn't work because it's not recognized in the lamp of the room. Um, Welcome rock back. cradle. Dooms! 
Thank you for the gifted sub to Kaz! Oh my god, Kaz is like sitting around. <laughs> Hi, Kaz. It was really sweet, Dooms. Thank you. Um, you're like on a roll with like gifting subs today. Use axe on cradle! Chop cradle. You have better things to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so singing a lullaby doesn't work. What about play flute? That wouldn't be a good idea. It's gotta be a rattle that's in... Does slime work on the baby? I don't have slime. I think we need to find the baby's grave. Try digging up the- yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know where the three kids' grave is, though. We have to find out. Tombstone. Plant these shr- oh, it's okay. Read tombstone. Sleep with here in peace, an honorable man, valiant soldier. That was a man soldier. Read tombstone. Knew very well his life was finished because he took ill, but none will miss him. Get out of here. Stop. Stop it. Read tombstone. Thorpe's corpse. Can you... Read tombstone. Here lies the body of Marion Louder. Read tombstone. Dr. I let some. Read tombstone. Uncle whatever. Six feet beneath. One Jerry Jones. No. There's the statue up here. Read Tombstone. Uh, baby son of Edward and Sarah Bennett, who by sudden surprise fell asleep. Dig. I don't have the shovel. Where does the shovel come from? Where did we forget the shovel? Oh my god. We had a shovel in our first game. Oh, it's opening the secret room. <sighs> oh my god. I was scared that it was in a previous area we couldn't go back to. Oh my god. Because we never went into the secret room. Thank you, Meaty. Oh my god. No, Meaty's right. It's on the floor. I remember that now. It's right inside. I remembered the having it. I just didn't remember where I got it. It's... What's that you hear? What's the sound of a crying baby? We don't care. Sh shut up. Get shovel. So, uh, from what I remember, you have to solve each of the fa each of the ghost family. The entire family is ghosts. You have to solve each one of their um, issues. And once you solve their issues, then you get something. I think it's the key to the crypt where Pandora's box is. I know Pandora's box is in the crypt because I do remember that. Stop it. So, now as a princess, we're just gonna dig up graves. The terrifying zombie is sense deep skinny. Okay, well, come on. You carefully dig a small hole in the poor baby's grave. What is this? You have uncovered a silver baby rattle. Did we get it? Where is it? Silver baby rattle. Okay. Get away from me. Princess Gravedigger, who dealt in bones and now is bones himself. Is that a reference to something? I don't think so. Open door. It's, um, they're just little quotes and they're, they're just humorous little anecdotes on the, on the graves. So the graves that don't have humorous an anecdotes are the ones that I think I'm going to end up having to go to. <clears throat> give rattle you drop the silver rattle into the baby cradle as you do so the crying of the baby ghost and the rocking of the cradle cease you breathe a big sigh of relief suddenly you hear a terrible rattling of chains from downstairs sound of loud moaning and the rattling of heavy chains disturbs you this scared me so much when i was when i was younger
Look, ghost. The ghost of a stooped old miser trudges, miser trudges through the house, lugging heavy chains behind him. He moans loudly in frustration as he appears to be searching for something he can't find. So we know which grave that is. We're just digging up graves. Come on, Princess Grave Digger. <laughs> Let's go dig up another grave. <laughs> I think it's the one next to the tree. Read tombstone. Thorpe's corpse. No, not this one. This one? Read tombstone. Your lies new barrier, but none will be miss him. He should have been wiser to his own fault for being a miser. Dig. Dig, dig, dig to the center of the earth. You dig a small hole, the grave of the old miser. Ha, you found a bag of gold coins. It's like really nice. She does look suspiciously similar to the grave robber from Darkest Dungeon. And by that, you mean they're both blonde. I don't remember what the Grave Robber in Darkest Dungeon does. I need to play that game some more. Open door. Where am I... Give coins. Give coins. You offer the bag of gold coins to the old miser ghost. He greedily snatches it from your hands and then promptly disappears. Sound of sorrowful weeping floats down from upstairs. I know where that is. The mother is in here. Look. The old bedroom must have been very nice. Uh, you see the sad ghost of a beautiful young woman. She sits in a rocking chair and weeps as if her heart will break. Talk. You try to comfort the lady ghost, but she doesn't respond. It seems as if she doesn't even know you're here as she continues her deep sobbing. So now we got to find a, the grave of a young woman. Which I think we saw one over there by the tree yet again. Christmas Carol ghost. It was a Christmas Carol ghost. That was, that was uh... I was going to say Ebenezer with Scrooge. What the hell? That was a uh... Cratch? No, that wasn't Cratchit. What the hell was his name? I forget. Marley. Marley. Read Tombstone. You're not close enough. I guess I am. Read tombstone. I hate these things beneath this Uncle Dan. Read tombstone. Is laid upon well, Jerry Jones. <coughs> tombstone. Marianne Louder, she burst while drinking a Sillet's powder, called for this world to her heavenly rest. She should have waited till it effervesced. That's, that's, no, it's too jokey. <coughs> that's Thorpe's corpse. Is it this one? A Lord Coningsby. Read Tombstone. Dear Wife. Dig. Yeah, no, Marley was the greedy partner. You dig a small hole but find nothing of interest. It must be over here then. Come on. Read Tombstone. Betty Cowden, who would have... Sorrow and grief made her decay. Dig. <coughs> Get out of here, zombie. Terrifying zombie senses your obsidian scarab. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that one. She's got a beautiful dress. It's tatters. Carefully dig a small hole at the sad lady ghost's grave. Yeah, you have found a lovely locket. You bend down and pick it up and decide to keep it and let her just cry for forever. It's a pretty locket. Look, locket. Oh, it's got a man's picture in it. Wonder if he's dead too. It's <coughs> just crying from upstairs. Give Locket. Oops. Just going through her. <laughs> Give Locket. He hand the lovely Locket to the distraught ghost. The Locket seems to make her very happy as she vanishes into thin air. Gonna hear an organ yet? A loud wailing sound comes from downstairs. Mm -hmm. 
It's the ent entry room. Uh, let's see. Look, ghost. I think that's the soldier. If you encounter the gentleman ghost of the distinguished lord of the manor, he wails despondently as he seems to be looking for something he desperately wants. I'm gonna walk through you. Okay, goodbye. Um, so it's a lord. I don't think it's a soldier unless it says it. Let me see. Read tombstone. Lord Coningsby. Dig. Dig a small hole at the grave of the Lord of the Manor. Gotcha. You found an impressive medal of honor. You bend down and pick it up. Goodbye. I don't know why they keep coming. They just crumble to dust over and over. Open door. I like how is there just one... Where is he? Give medal. You offer the Medal of Honor to the Wailing Ghost. He takes it from your hands with great reverence. Satisfied, he vanishes into thin air. Where's the next one? A cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you and begins to giggle and runs from the room. What? Do I just need to find him? He's making me chase him. You have the naughty giggling as little boy ghost runs from the room. Oh, he's in the attic. Okay. We were wondering how we were going to get here. Climb. She's all like, it's so difficult to climb in this dress. That's what she says everywhere else. Look, ghost. Little boy ghost laughs and refuses to budge from his seat on top of the toy chest. It might help if he had a toy to play with. Give ball. Give ball. The ghost of the little boy just looks at you and laughs. Look, cage. Just an old bird cage, nothing interesting. I don't think I have anything on me right now. Wasn't there a grave of a child beyond the. Um. I thought there was the grave of a child. Beyond the baby? I think it's to our right, though. Because I don't remember the grave of a boy on the left side. Read Tombstone. Like my friends, the Feast of Life. Okay. Read Tombstone. Dentist Brown. That's not a kid. Read Tombstone. Uh... Read Tombstone. She done her best. Read Tombstone. Here lies a poor woman who was always tired. She lived in a house where help wasn't hired. Her last worth, words on earth were, Dear friends, I am going to where there's no cooking or washing or sewing. For everything there is exact to my wishes. For where they don't eat, there's no washing of dishes. I'll be where loud anthems will always be ringing. But having no voice, I'll be qu quit of the singing. Don't mourn for me now. Don't mourn for me never. I am going to do nothing forever and ever. That's a little depressing. Pretty tombstone. You're not close enough. Read Tombstone. Tombstone? Rebecca Freeland. She drank good ale, good punch, and wine, and lived to the age of 99. Read Tombstone. Here lies but for to bear, to read more without a tear. One I cannot speak, the rest you may weep. I'll smite at my breast with grief preventing, and this stone too small to be written. Only this, a little boy. Dick. Oh no, you've broken your shovel. Dig. How do we repair the shovel? Oh my god. Does it have, I don't think it has limited uses. 
I wonder if I'm soft locked for failure. <gasps> no, because of the number of times I dug. Oh no. I need to dig there. I was soft locked. Ah, shoot. Look, keyhole. At least this isn't too far back. Open door. Get hen. Get hen. Are you kidding? But he won't stop drinking your bath water. Why? Make him stop. That's not good for him. Open door. Okay, so I had the axe and I had the hen. We need to give the hen back. Oh my god. Get up, Rosella. Stop falling. I can't believe I locked myself out from digging too much. At least we know what we have to do. Four, five. This game looks so awesome. It is pretty good. I'm just. I've soft locked myself twice now. Okay, come on. I really like the old adventure games. They're a lot of fun. I like the having to type in instead of um, the point and click. Two, three, four, five. Actually, it's here. Normal. Okay. So now we have to... Do we have the... Okay, we have the fruit at least. Oh my god, if we had to get the fruit again. Come on. Can we pre-dig the graves? No, you need to know, um... You need to know what you're digging for. Because I think last time when I got the shovel, the first time, and I said dig, her response was she doesn't know what to dig for yet. I think Bodhi's still drinking the bath water. Because I heard Isaac just say Bodhi stop. Come on. Ouch. Burn ourselves. Oh, God. It is possible to get captured by them. Get I. Oh my god. Do I have to be in the middle of the two of them? I've not had any problems getting it from them before. Come on. Oh my god. Why am I now having problems with them? Oh my god. You don't have much time to react. I think that's what it is. There we go. Give us back our eye. Give us back our eye. Get Scarab. Think about it. Throw eye. And then nighttime. 
So what have you missed so far? Us getting soft locked. We've restarted the game from scratch because we got soft locked before. Managed to get the lantern, which we had missed in our playthrough that we were doing yesterday. And then we got soft locked again when I got a shovel broken. <laughs> Oh my god, we're stuck. We're stuck on the trees. Come on. They cannot see without a fake eye. It's, um... It harkens back to the three witches uh, in uh, Clash of the Titans, the original, where you had the three witches that had no eyes, but they would have a single glass eye that they passed back and forth. That's also part of a myth. Um, Sci-fi was calling them the fates. I don't remember if they're actually the fates or if they're just three witches that share a single glass eye. So they're completely blind without that glass eye. So originally, Perseus ends up taking the eye from them and holds it until they end up giving him what he wants. Um, so, the, the King's Quest games harken towards a lot of myths and legends and uh, fairy tales. So if you know the fairy tales, you'll know how to solve a lot of the problem, a lot of the puzzles. A lot of the puzzles that have been in this one, I've known from a lot of fairy tales, but I feel like I ran through King's Quest 3 a lot quicker. They also share a tooth? That's really weird. That's really gross. What do they do with their one tooth? <laughs> they, they, they partially chew and gum their food. I know we hear a baby crying. Okay, so this is going to require us to be very particular on the graves that we get. So the baby's grave should be this one. Read tombstone. Uh, dig. I didn't get the shovel. You kidding? I forgot the shovel again. I did this last time. Open door. No, I didn't get the shovel, Feeny. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get it right now. Get shovel. I like how this shovel breaks after a few uses. It's all like, you better do it right. It's like, what kind of shovel is this? How brittle is this piece of crap? Oh no, Rosella, you can't dig anymore. What are you gonna do? You can't possibly try and repair that shovel. No. Okay. Dig. Careful, it got the rattle. Okay. Let's go and give the rattle to the baby. <clears throat> Open door. Gonna hear a baby crying. A buried rattle. <laughs> yeah, a buried rattle. We have to find basically each one of the ghosts, we have to find out where where their graves are, dig it up, and get an item to give to them. Give rattle. Drop the silver rattle into the baby cradle as you do so the crying of the baby ghost. The rocky of the cradle sees you breathe a big sigh of relief. The crying baby seems to be in here. No, it's not. <laughs> Sound of loud moaning and the rattle of heavy chains disturbs you. People bury prized belongings with dead people all the time. Burying the rattle makes sense. Yeah. So this guy, if you look at the ghost, look ghost, ghost of a stooped old miser trudges through the house, lugging heavy chains behind him. He moans loudly in frustration as he appears to be searching for something he can't find. So we need to go to, there's specifically a grave, I believe it's all the way to the left, uh, that if you read the tombstone, it's a miser. And that's the one we want. Read Tombstone. It lies Newberry Will. His life was finished because he took ill, but none will miss him. Dig. 
because he was a miser. None will miss him because he was a miser or something like that. All these zombies. I like the ones that are just stuck. <laughs> just, just stuck. What is that one doing on the left? <laughs> just like... Uh, what I don't get is burying somebody's money with him. He was a miser. <laughs> I don't know. Give coins. You offer the bag of gold coins to the old miser ghost. You greedily snatch it from your hands and then promptly disappears. Gotta go upstairs next for the lady. Sound of sorrowful weeping. Look, ghost. See the sad ghost of a beautiful young woman. So we need to find the sad woman. She was to the right. Because the one we dug that was incorrect for her was on the left. Because there was a grave for a, a former wife and we thought it was her and it wasn't. Read Tombstone. Read Tombstone. Here lies the body of Betty Cowden who would live longer but she Cowden. Sorrow and grief made her decay. Dick. You as a goat did this is Sparta seen by kicking an alien into a pit of a well that's huge. Oh my god. The terrifying zombie senses your... Oh, so do you... Okay, whatever. Terrifying zombies. Terrifying zombie. Uh, you get the ghost locket. You know what? Let's find out if we can pre-dig. Out of curiosity. I don't think we can, but let's find out. Because the... Read Tombstone. This should be the boy. Dig. No, you can't. So, I guess you don't find what you're looking for. Unless it's the wrong grave. I don't think it is. Here. Open door. Come on. Give locket. Hand the lovely locket to the distraught ghost. The locket seems to make her very happy as she vanishes into thin air. Okay. And we should have the wailing in a bit. There we go. Look, ghost. We encounter the gentleman ghost of the distinguished lord of the manor. He wails despondently. So Lord Cowden should be over here. I think his name was Lord Cowden. Read Tombstone. Coningsby. It's not even the same family. They all have different last names. You want me to think that they're all the same family? Got the medal. Open door. Where is he? Here. Give medal. Offer the medal of honor to the wailing ghost who takes it from your hands with great reverence. Satisfied, he vanishes into thin air. <laughs> Where's the boy? Look, ghost. See nothing special. You hear naughty giggling as little boy ghost runs from the room. You're naughty giggling. I don't know if I actually need to follow him up here. Maybe Coningsby is his first name. It's a really weird first name. Look, ghost. Seat on top of the chest. Okay, climb. So he has a toy that's in his grave. 
That I know because when I looked at the walkthrough to see what you're supposed to do, it was like, yeah, you just dig up his grave. So, yeah, we broke the shovel because we dug the wrong grave for the wife. There is... So you can only dig just enough graves... Um, as there are family members. So it should be this one. So we didn't find anything here for the first time. Yeah, see? You dig a small hole, the little boy goes grave. Aha, you haven't covered a toy horse. You bend down, pick it up, and carry it with you. Yeah, so you cannot pre-dig at all. What about the organ? What are we supposed to do with the organ? Are we supposed to play that? Cute little boy ghost suddenly appears. He grins mischievously at you and begins to giggle as he runs from the room. Give toy. You give the toy horse to the little boy ghost in hopes that he will vanish like the others before him. For a moment you fear that he will not, as he takes time to examine it carefully. Suddenly he grins at you and in a twinkling disappears. Okay, open chest. You're not close enough. Really? Open chest. Look in chest. You peek into the open chest and find an old set of sheet music. You take the sheet music and carry it with you. I'm curious. Can she fall down this opening? She's so fragile. That was not very far. She's just dead! <laughs> that was like, it, was, it was not far. <laughs> it's just, it's really not far. <laughs> and she's just like, I'm dead. I'm just done with life. It's like, oh god, you want me to fall more than 12 inches? I guess I'll die now. Okay, sheet music is obvious. Let's go to the organ. Here, honey, it's your favorite part. Oh, we're here again. Wait, what? Why are we back here? What? Why is this even a thing? <laughs> Why are there no banisters? There is right here. Close to the end. I hope so. Honey, you're at 161 out of 230. You ain't nowhere near the end. Yes, I am. You get a lot of points for doing the main stuff. Set. So, oh. Use really. sheet music. Set. Use sheet music. You find it difficult to read the old sheet music, but you tempt it anyway. Are you serious? Can you get me one sweetener and then pour coffee? Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> when did you buy me? <laughs> Only 12 inches she'll fall on as a dick? Wow, Cap. She believed ankles and she can't... She, well, yeah, she believed ankles and she can't walk now, so the fairy who needs saving dies and broke her. Oh my god. hard to read this music. What is this? A small drawer it has opened in the organ. Look in drawer. See a skeleton key. Get key. Take the skeleton key from the drawer. That will work on the crypt, I believe. Um, Stan. Well, considering this is the first game that's credited was, uh, with ever having used MIDI music in, a P in the PC gaming industry, um... I'm not surprised that they, they had a, a music section in this game, because, you know, Sierra just wanted to show off the, the technology. Real talk, 12 inches of dick can be dangerous, even fatal, if not done by a trained professional. Who's a, tw a trained professional with 12 inches? 
<laughs> you need a proper train professionally. Okay. Saving here. So I'm pretty sure we're good at this point. John Holmes? Who the hell is John Holmes? A porn actor. Look door. The crypt door is closed. Open door. Use key. Can't use that here right now. Use key. There's one other place with a locked door, and that was the ogre's house. Unless I can somehow unlock this. Here, I'll take this. Thank you. I tried to use key, unlock door. You place the skeleton key in the lock of the crypt door, slowly you turn it, click it, unlock, cheese. If you had no, a job as an extreme porn trainer, you'd probably be working instead of enjoying the deal. Wow. <laughs> Open door. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Look. What an incredible place. This looks like an ancient burial tomb with hieroglyphics written on the walls and an old coffin against the far wall. A pile of rope is at the edge of the upper platform. You see an odd-looking little chest here. It must be Pandora's box. It's not even the entire room's height. <laughs> not even. Use rope. Lower rope. You reach down and get the pile of rope to your happy surprise. You find that the rope is actually a rope ladder attached to the end of the platform. Gladly you throw the rope ladder over the edge of the platform where it falls to the floor below. Climb. Look out for the mummy. The mummy runs from the, your powerful scarab. I think if you didn't have... I think the first time I ever came in here, I didn't have the scarab. And the mummy just grabs you and takes you in there. Although, dealing with this game without the Scarab is a pain in the ass, from what I remember. Look, box. Pandora's box is on the floor of the crypt. You know what we're doing. Open box. You don't have it. Open box. Get box. Open box. Okay, but you'll be sorry. Look at all the evils! That was very foolish, Rosella. Now look what you've gone and done. You've loosed the terrible demons and killed yourself in the process. She looks alive to me. Never mind. <laughs> Oops, he slipped, tragically dies. <laughs> you like how it's just on the floor? Get boxed. Well, it's being guarded by this mummy. In this very non-Egyptian area. <laughs> Climb. Raise ladder. It's not understood. We don't need to. It's fine. Just leave the door open. Anyone can wander in there. I mean, there's zombies that guard the place anyways. Oops, you slipped. Heck off, Roberta. <laughs> Roberta Williams and her moon logic. This is not where we need to be. Oops. It is easier just to reload than to wait for her to stop being dizzy. Uh oh, Lalat's goons. It's like one goon, and then the other one's like, I guess we'll get her. <laughs> Just the the joy of being flown off by having your arms pulled out of their sockets. Lalat smiles an evil smile. You know, she says, I've never asked you your name. What is it? You tell her, Rosella. Rosella, what a pretty name. You wonder what this is all about. 
You find out soon enough. Well, Rosella, Lilac grins ominously. You've earned your reward. My son Edgar has fallen in love with you. I wish him to be happy, and I give you the honor of being his wife and my daughter-in-law. Wow. Your heart turns flips and somersaults as you hear this. Oh my god, a boy likes me? <laughs> uh, okay, is it gonna... Is that gonna go anywhere? There we go. You'll be married first thing in the morning, she informs you. Jeez! That's a quick wedding. Me, oh hell no, I'm out. You will sleep in Edgar's room tonight while my son sleeps elsewhere. Oh boy. She motions to her goons. Let us relieve you of your burdensome load before you retire. Oh, she took all my stuff. Is he underage? What the fuck? You were so shocked by this tragic turn of events that you hardly noticed your possessions being taken away. He's like, I don't know. He's, he's a young man. To her goons, a lot orders escort our Rosella to her room. This is the perils of Rosella. She's now gonna be married. Oh god. You think to yourself, now what? Um, look, dresser. See a chest of drawers with a mirror on top. Look on dresser. Look comb. You carry nothing. Open dresser. Lie on bed and have a good cry. This <laughs> game does not understand F. <laughs> Look out window. Jump. <laughs> Jump out of window. <laughs> Look under rug. She's way younger than him. They're undead. Rosella is normal human. Uh, no, they're technically fairies. They're just bad fairies. Open door. You're not close enough. Oh god, you hear something at the door. Open door. Unlock, Unlock door. Oh, what's this? Why a beautiful red rose has been pushed under your door. You pick it up and carry it with you. There's a key on the rose. Look, Rose. What a beautiful red rose. What's this? Why, there's a little gold key attached to the rose. Get key. Unlock door. Unlock. Use the little gold key. You quickly unlock the door. Why would you tell some strange magic lady your name? And that sounds like a terrible idea. I was hoping he was going to let me just type in the name because then I was going to say John. <laughs> Open door. age faster look at the end of ocarina of time look that's zelda oh no why why so the it, the buttons are the keys for moving are reversed weirdly i'm gonna just click for her to move they're weirdly reversed if you're using the arrow keys for movement uh when she's on stairs look goon the henchman is asleep Let's go this way. Henshin is asleep. Look, bird. See the lots ravens spying on you. That's not good. Which way are we going? This way or the other door?
You have discovered the castle's kitchen. Not a very pleasant kitchen, but a kitchen nonetheless. Against the back wall, two cabinets flank a cold stone fireplace. You see a long table under one small window. Open cabinet. Cabinets full of dishes. Look pot. Iron pot in the fireplace is empty. Get pot. You don't need it. Look fireplace. Fireplace is unlit cold. So those are bellows. Open cabinet. Kill goon, leave the trail of knowledge. Here are all of your possessions. Get stuff. Are you kidding? Get stuff. Yay. I feel like you have to shoot her with Cupid's bow. Look, table. Nothing on the table interests you. Look, bucket. Get bucket. Fill with water. Throw at evil fairy. That looks like a wicked witch. Get bird. Wouldn't want it even if you could get it. Look. You see nothing special. Look throne. Currently the lot's ornate gilded throne is empty. Are you kidding? You're carrying nothing. Oh my god. Is it because I walked too close to him, I think? Maybe? Yeah, it is. Okay, this I'm clicking on. Are you kidding? Rosella. Rosella, you dumb bitch! She's like, oh, okay! <laughs> Is this Edward's room, I wonder? No. Nope. Yeah. We're going up. We're going up, Rosella. There she is. Miss America. Open door. Unlock door. Which key do you want to use? The gold key or the skeleton key? Use skeleton key. Use gold key. Use the little gold key. Quickly unlock the door. Open oh. door. Look. So this is the lot's bedchamber. You question her taste in decorating as her furniture is a bit on the gaudy side. And speaking of the lot, the old bat is sound asleep on her massive bed. Shoot. Bow. You aim the golden arrow toward the lot. You let go of the bowstring. Zing. A direct hit. The lot sits straight up in the bed, a look of agony upon her face. What did you do to me? She shrieks. I'm melting. Melting. No, wait. That's another story. <laughs> Let's try again. It hurts. It hurts. Stop the pain. Stop it. You cringe as you watch the evil fairy die a painful death. What happened, you wonder? How could Cupid's arrow have done that? You thought that those arrows were harmless and contained only love. She can't love. Wait, that must be it. Love. Lalotte was so evil that when all that pure love entered her body, it acted as a poison to her system. In spite of yourself, you feel a sense of sweet revenge. As she breathes her last, Lalotte manages to gasp. I don't know how, but I'll get you for this. A bright new day is dawning. Edgar bows to you, acknowledging his evil mother's death. He begins to say, you may now walk freakly, freely about the castle. I, and suddenly begins to blush. Do you want some of sweet, sweet Rosella as a reward, sir? Look at that. Huge bed is takes up most of the room. The power of love. Get talisman. Look a little lot. She's quite dead now. Janessa's magic talisman hangs from her neck. Get talisman. Okay. 
look mirror look mirror you look on the mirror and see the reflection of poor but beautiful pleasant girl still stuck in the ivory castle no we um we just killed the lot we shot her with cupid's bow and the power of love did her in and now we're just done with life so we press the wrong button and just promptly die <laughs> Roberta's all like, wow, you came really far, they just fell off those stairs. <laughs> We're clicking again. I hate, I hate, I hate trying to navigate these stairs. So the, the movement keys, when you're playing with the arrow keys like I have been, are really, really wonky when you're on the stairs. For some reason. There we go. You can't believe Sierra dated to dared to do this even in simple stairs like this. What are you talking about? Oh. Damn straight you bow to me. Open door. Guess what's stored here? Yes, Pandora's box and the magic hen. Get hen. Are we supposed to put Pandora's box back? Get Pandora's box. Open chest. Look shelf. I've never done this. Are we supposed to take the box back and put it, put it back where it was? Seems to be so what did you come in here for? I came in here to get the, the the chicken in the box. Wait, isn't this the cell? Really wouldn't want to visit your old cell, would you? Look, goons. The lots goons are not appealing at all. Besides having an unnatural pallor to the skin, they are creepy little creatures who fly upon but wings that resemble those of bats. We don't like you guys. You're ugly. Ugliest race ever. Ugh. Genocide. Now. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Let's. Probably walk off to our death. A yeast fuzzy? What? I don't know. Isaac literally pulled names out of his ass and like <laughs> made them into titles. What did you guys want? Where's Edgar? I don't want to find him. I feel like we should go and thank him. Let's go kiss him on the cheek. Let's give him a little kissy. Let's go give him a little kissy. I like how uh, in the isn't like King's Quest Seven is all about her trying to uh, find herself a husband. <laughs> so it's definitely not this guy. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe your nutritional yeast yeast is great. Ow, no, stop it. Mozella, stop dying. I don't think I ever whenever I played this in the past I mean this was his bedroom, so we're going back up here just to see if he's there. I don't think whenever I played this in the past I actually went into the storage room. So, he's not here. So, thankfully, I'm just going to reload. We could have had a husband the whole time. Edgar doesn't seem so bad. He's not even a mama's boy anymore. It's true. He helped us murder his mother. There's nothing wrong with him at all. No. No. <laughs> we just fell off the mountain. You know what I like about Space Quest? All the snarky comments whenever you die. Like Space Quest is just out to like tell you that you're just a horrible player. <gasps> Look, unicorn. He looks at you with sadness. It needs to be free. Open gate. Do it. It's this right here. 
Unlock gate. Open gate. What? <clears throat> Is there hinges? Is this it? Open gate? Free unicorn. Just open the gate and let it go. Open gate. Well, I guess you're never going to be out. Open gate. Where is it? To be fair, this mother couldn't love, so she probably treated him horribly. It's true. Open gate. As soon as you open the gate, the splendid wild unicorn impatiently leaves its hated prison and quickly trots out the open stable door to freedom, realizing that Rosella betrayed the damn thing. I don't think I ever did any of this when I played it the first time. I think I left them all to rot. <laughs> I don't remember re releasing things. Oh, God! <laughs> oh. His mother did terrible things and mistreated him, so him helping us kill his mother and free us from an arranged marriage to him is indicative of morality. Yeah. Oh, no, stop it. Stop falling. Here, go this way. Come on. It's just easier to clicker at this point. So Lalot's Raven has been watching us this entire time. Okay. Let's see if we can return Pandora's box. Climb. Put back Pandora's box. Oh my god. Climb. I didn't know you could do that. Shoot the raven. <laughs> With what? Do you think we can give Cupid back his bow? He's probably gone back to the gods and been all like, Oh my god, I lo it's, it's just gone. This lady was watching me being naked and splashing. Body. Body is being a body. Uh, this, no, let's not go that way. That way was just death. Okay. Ready for this? Let's go get eaten by a shark. Oh my god! I was joking! <laughs> oh my god. You're, you're just like... She's all like, I've saved the day! Promptly eaten by a shark. Are you kidding me? Look, talisman. Wear talisman and become the new fairy. Use talisman. Teleport. Rub talisman. Okay, rub the magic talisman. Nothing happens. Take talisman off. You already took it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> you know what I was trying to do? I was just trying to, like, save the thing with King's Quest 3. Rubstone. Rubstone. No! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking hell. You've got to rub it fast. I don't think I'm at the right spot. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Do 
Janessa's tiny fairies guard the palace door. Here. We have 216. Are we actually going to end up with 230? Open door. Maybe if we give an Edward a proper reward kiss. We're going to be missing, like, some points. Watch. I haven't had a full set of points yet. I, I looked at the Space Quest 1 walkthrough. There is absolutely nothing I could have done differently. Give Talisman. I have no idea why I didn't have full points. You give the magic talisman to the dying fairy. Almost instantly, the color returns to her cheeks and her green eyes begin to sparkle. She sits up in bed, stretches, and smiles at you. We're four points short. Oh my god, her eyes. <laughs> you have saved my life, Rosella, the beautiful fairy says gratefully. And you have saved Tamir from the persecution of Lalat. We are deeply indebted to you. I want to go outside. I need to feel the warm sun on my face. Exuberantly, something happens. And suddenly you find yourself outside. My little head. Hold on. Eat fruit. <laughs> we we're going with this ending first. <laughs> Did you give back the hen? Who do you give the hen to? I'm not giving the hen to the ogre. Screw that shit. <laughs> Talisman. <laughs> she sits up in bed and stretches. <laughs> she just like, bam! She's awake. You saved my life, Rosella. And you have saved Tamir from the persecution of Lulat. We are deeply indebted to you. I want to go outside. I need to feel the warm sun on my face. Exuberantly, she waves her magic wand. And suddenly you find yourself outside. My little hen, Janesta suddenly claims. Wherever did you find her? There you go. So the hen was stolen by the ogre. Oh, see, that's extra points right there, too. You explained that the ogre had possession of her. Poor thing, she says. Well, at least she's back home now. Yeah, I don't think I ever gave the hen. Now for you, Rosella, Janesta says. You performed so heroically for all of us here in Demir, but you forgot one thing. You forgot the magic fruit for your father. I ate it. I have a long life now. <laughs> Sadly, you realize this terrible error, but realize at the same time that you will have a nice long life. The fairy continues, well, it's too late now. I must immediately return you to Daventry, so you may at least bid him goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> I didn't know the ogre stole the hen either. You look at yourself again, assesses the fairy. You best be off. We won't forget you here. Good luck. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Poof. Let's go. <laughs> You made it just in time, just in time that is to look your father in the eyes before he dies. Obviously it would have been better if things had ended happily. If only you could have another chance. <laughs> She's just crying. <laughs> okay, anyways. Let's do this right. Open <laughs> door. F you, dad. <laughs> that was great. Okay. Give talisman. She sits up in the bed. Oh my god. Oh. I feel great. <laughs> the the purple eye makeup. Oh god, it's horrible. Okay. So, nothing changes. It's here. Suddenly you find yourself outside. My little hen, Janessa, suddenly exclaims, wherever did you find her? I'm pausing it by holding down the, title, the, the top bar so that we can make sure we read everything. You explain that the ogre had possession of her. I like how she's just petting her. Poor thing, she says. Well, at least she's back home now. I'm missing two points. 
Where the hell am I missing two points from? Now for you, Rosella, Janesta says, it's my turn to help you out. I will return you to Daventry, and with the magic fruit, you will be able to save your father's life. We'd better hurry, though, as he doesn't have much time left. We have soft-locked ourselves out of this game twice. No, three times. And had to restart twice. <laughs> yes, you are anxious to get home again. But first, Janesta proclaims, let's replace these peasant clothes with your royal gown. The royal gown. Piff. With a twinkle in her eye, Janesta announces there is someone else deserving a re reward for his kindness and heroism. <gasps> is that Edward? Uh... You have a beautiful soul, Edgar, the fairy says to the ugly little man. You should look like what you are. She, this game and this fairy is teaching you that beauty is not on the inside, it's on the outside. <laughs> oh god! Turn him back! <laughs> this handsome hunk is Edgar? <laughs> it does look like young Trump. <laughs> Roselli says, I love you. Will you marry me? No. You think about it. You think about it some more. <laughs> then... I'm sorry, Edgar. You're very sweet, but I must return, immediately return home. She's like, I don't want this thing. Roberta, perhaps we'll meet again, you say. <laughs> Well, Rosella, Janesta announces it's time for you to go. Your father desperately needs you. <laughs> Roberta had some interest, strange tastes. <laughs> Goodbye, we'll never forget you. You're two points short, you failed. <laughs> I got the hat this time. You give the healing fruit to your dying father and strongly urge him to take a bite, which he weakly does. I've been gone! For days! <clears throat> How are you feeling, Father? You excitedly ask him. Can I have the rest of the magic fruit? Never felt better in my life, is his reply. What is in this fruit anyway, he wonders. Magic? And pesticides. It is magic, Father, and you t tell your fa excited family of your adventure in Tamir. Where Alexander's just sitting there going, Yeah, I was kidnapped and a slave for like 17 years. <laughs> I don't think you're through with this hat yet, you say. Your brother Alexander and your mother, Queen Valenice, readily agree. You've got too much life ahead of you. Until a wizard kidnaps our castle and the rest of the family and leaves you to figure it all out with an annoying owl. But that's in the next game! <laughs> that hat does not fit his head very well. <laughs> so all's well that ends well. Until next time! Goodbye! You're two points short. <laughs> Just <laughs> A poisonous snake! <laughs> oh god. Uh, wait, is that it? Is that it? We're just staring at him, and we're just... Can you guys notice Alexander's weird-ass smile? Like, what is this, like, wannabe cat cheekness that's going on? <clears throat> Better an owl than a fucking Navi of all things? <laughs> yeah, seriously. I don't know. People have said that the owl is probably one of the most annoying sidekick characters in any game. So... What do you guys think about wanting to start up Space Quest 2 briefly? I think Isaac's trying to say something, but I can't hear him. He said something about it's almost 1 o'clock, but we can go for another hour, I think. So, yes. Really. Game. Space Quest 2.